It's Tuesday, May 28th, 2024, and it is the end of the first day in week four of the job. And my guys killed it today. Got way more done than we expected. Got the rest of that temp wall built. And they managed to demo the rest of the rafters and most of what we need to take out of the ceiling. There's just a couple boards left up there. It'll take like five minutes to take out tomorrow. Now we could potentially cut these headers out tomorrow and be two, two days ahead of my revised schedule, but we're gonna actually work on sister in those back rafters tomorrow. Today we had five carpenters here plus myself. I showed up I had to do some things in the morning and I got here a little late. I think I got here like 10, 30, 11 and they were already moving along. But uh, I spent most of the day cleaning. I went and picked up the rest of my special order hardware that came in. I finished cleaning these posts. Got more stuff off of that. I'm taking a closer look at the top of these posts that we're gonna need to anchor into and uh, get myself ready for that part. That's probably the single most technical and single most important part of this entire job because everything rests on the top of these posts. Our whole metal beam, those anchors need to go in nice, get a good hold. We can't crack those bricks. We're using a 7 8 inch masonry bit in a SDS Max drill and I can't use hammer mode on it. I'm going to be just using drill mode to drill my holes. I'm going to try it like that first, but I really can't crack these bricks anymore. We already have to make some repairs to the top and we need to let that cure before we can start drilling into them but uh one of the things i did today was i set up a nice hardware station for us so this is most of what we're going to be using for the rest of the job we've got two by twelve slopable rafter hangers for the front these are going to go into the lvl ridge boards and ridge beam over on the last two bays and I got I picked up this really cool nail gun for this job it's called a positive placement I never had to get one before but now give me an excuse to buy it yeah it's called a positive placement metal connector nail gun and you can actually line up the tip of the nail into the hole on your joist hangers and rafter hangers and you get a clean shot to hang those uses these nails big time saver there however we can only do that on the back holes that go straight into the ridge board these holes on the sides that go into the the rafter we need to use we're going to be using these two and a half inch number 10 simpson connector screws and these actually go through the rafter at an angle and then they go into the ridge board so that's the proper way to install those now when i ordered my first round of rafters i got these well, I told them I wanted double 2x8 rafter hangers, and they sent joist hangers. And you sent me these nails, which I don't need, so we're going to be sending these back. And I have the, the proper hangers, just like those, except they're double 2x8 rafter hangers with the slopable bottom. I got those on order. They should be here any day now, and we're just going to bring all this stuff back and get those these are all the hurricane ties we're going to be using 
think I have a lot of extra of those for some reason. I don't know why. And this is some of the hardware that finally came in today. This is the biggest bolt I have ever, ever used. These are one inch diameter by seven inch long bolts that are gonna be holding the truss together once you build that truss. And these are the threaded rod anchors we're gonna be using for the metal posts into the brick columns. I just loaded up the, the nuts and washers on the, on the 10 of them. It's gonna help me keep it organized until we actually put them in. Uh, and then this is the anchoring cement we're gonna be using into the bricks. And then we hammer these down into the hole, going about six inches deep. Those are 11 inches long. I might go seven inches deep and have only four inches sticking up. I think that's more than enough. But yeah, these are what we've been using for the temp wall, just three inch construction screws, nothing special. And uh, that's about it for hardware. Glad I got that finally organized though. All I gotta get now are my carriage bolts for the beam packing. So I gotta count up how many of those I need and order those. Picked up my laminated Gantt chart and plan Friday the end of the day. I was talking about how I had it made in my last video and it was still at Staples at the time. That's why I didn't have it on me. But this is the revised timeline with a single phase. We got one demo phase and we are here on line 18 already and one build phase finishes. So that puts us finishing July 12th. But doesn't matter if we actually stick to that schedule because we will be finishing way ahead of plan. But, uh, that's, that's it for today. It's almost 6 o'clock. I'm ready to go home. Tomorrow, I'm going to keep on cleaning, power washing some stuff, maybe helping the guys if they need any help with the cistern of the rafters. But, uh, it. We did a good job today. I'm happy with that. Let's see how full this dumpster is now that we got all those rafters in it. Yeah, so there's still plenty of room in here. It's just gonna blow away. Let's say it's like two thirds full. And I mean, we're gonna be using, filling the dumpster the rest of this job, but. <coughs> It's just not going to be filling fast, so so we got our another lumber order in today. Here's the rafters, two by eights for sister in the rear rafters. Some of them are cut already, and that's it. I'll be back tomorrow. Have a good night. So it's Thursday morning, May 30th, day three of week four, and I didn't get to film my video yesterday because the guys were here a little later than I was. They uh, had to return the saw before the place closed and they were still working. So I tried to do my videos after everybody's gone, but uh, anyway, we're today, I'm going to be cleaning up all this concrete dust that's on these posts got those last three headers off yesterday the guys finished almost finished cistern up all these rear rafters we had three carpenters here yesterday 
and they were working on that while I was cutting these headers out so managed to finish that and I gotta get five more 20 I think I'm get using 20 foot 2 by 8s maybe 22 so we're well ahead of schedule now so that's great today I'm gonna get all this dust cleaned off I got one of my helpers who's done a lot of masonry work he's coming to start patching in the bricks that fell out off the top of these we're gonna get that all prepped and ready so that over the next few days I can start laying out my anchor holes I believe my metal fabricator is almost done with making the posts that go on top so we're in a good spot right now and after today I'm gonna come in tomorrow and start pulling some string lines measuring from the ridge what I really need to do is measure that horizontal run from the ridge to the top of the posts get a nice straight line all the way across the front that's parallel to the ridge and I think what I'm gonna do is a separate video kind of detailing exactly how I'm gonna do that now it'd be great if it's perfectly parallel and all the rafters are the same but I think that would be hoping too much probably gonna have to make some modifications as we go to these rafters but it's not that big a deal we'll just add a little extra time to the job so anyway we're about to get started and I'll probably film another video after this yesterday I did do a time lapse of the entire day so I think what I'm gonna do is clip that onto the end of my weekly video and just uh, it's like 15 minutes long but <clears throat> I will just throw that on the end there for your entertainment and that's it I'm gonna do separate video detailing all the the layout for these anchor holes we gotta also pop off these caps today I'm gonna move all these headers to their new home in the back where nobody can be bothered by them hopefully they can stay there pop those caps off clean these up fix the bricks and that's it so I'll be back later Thursday about five o'clock a little before five and May 30th 2024 me and my one worker were here today and we got everything done that we wanted to we were pretty much down here all day got those headers moved around back we took the post caps off the last three posts my guy was working on redoing all those brick caps that got damaged when we took everything off so looking good I got this mess cleaned up it was all all that concrete dust so got some work to do getting it out of the driveway but what's been working well is you uh, I take the power washer or the hose and I kind of spray all the dirt into a pile and then tomorrow it'll be nice and dry I can sweep most of it up and pick it up with the dustpan but yeah, we are ready to start laying out my anchor holes tomorrow that's a big day for me so uh, I'm gonna make a separate video about that and go over each step of the way and post that separately but that's all I got for you now so stay tuned for the next part of my video tomorrow have a good night So it's Friday, May 31st, 2024, and it's the end of the fourth week on this job. 
and I just finished filming another video update that I'm gonna edit and combine into a separate video kind of detailing the process for how we're setting the anchors because there's a lot of steps and that's a pretty technical part for this job but I'm just gonna add this quick update to the end of my weekly series that I plan to post another video tomorrow and so we've got a good amount done we had a setback a couple of the bricks busted out off the top of that post because my SDS max rotary hammer does not do drill only mode and it only does hammer drill mode or hammer mode which I'll show you what I'm talking about here in case you don't know I keep referring to my rotary hammers SDS max SDS plus this is a SDS max rotary hammer these are uh, pretty powerful little drills this is the bit we were using today and it's got a special chuck that only fits in these big SDS Max uh, tools. So usually, like I have my, my SDS Plus Bosch rotary hammer over there. It's like the Bosch Bulldog, I think. And you can do drill only. So over here you set the tool. Does either hammer and drill or just hammer but no drill so this little rotating thing that's like when you have a chisel bit and you need to spin the bit for a different rotation so I guess I should have known that about my tool that it doesn't do drill only but anyway. this guy's going home today because he's no longer needed here so are those tools going home as well so my metal guy came and he started laying out his holes he needs to drill. He'll be back tomorrow to drill them and hopefully he gets these primed. These things have been stacked on their side over here so I haven't been able to really show the true scale of them. But these are the beams that are going to be holding up this roof. They're big. Forty-five feet, twenty-four feet per pound. It's weird. They've got a weight on there, eight thousand six hundred forty pounds. There's no way they're that heavy. I don't know if that was like the entire order he got at that time. So anyway, these are laid out. The pattern here. He's got them. So a little detail about this because we are doing packing on the inside in the webbing. And we need that, I'm pretty sure, I haven't gotten a hold of my garage door guy, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna need that for him anyway. So we're gonna have a two by six go in here. We might even rip it down further, but we need a gap right here for the bolt that's gonna hold our top packing. And then the bottom, same thing. We're gonna have our bottom packing but it needs to be bolted to this metal. That's why he's drilling these holes. So the outside packing board in, in the webbing, you know, the first, this is a three inch gap right here. The first board is gonna be, leave a gap above and below, and that's where our bolts are gonna, the nuts and washers, and this part of the thread is gonna stick up. That's gonna be, you can see where he's got it marked here. This is the center of the first board that's against the webbing. And then we put another two by eight in there. We might have to rip it down because this is a seven inch space. And the two by eight is seven and a quarter inches. So we'll rip it down so it fits. And then that goes in and we could simply screw that into the first board. We don't need to bolt through that part. But, uh, 
that'll be a lot more clear once we get to that part and I show you the video it's pretty simple though so that the beam the, all the beams they're gonna have bottom packing top packing and the inside web is gonna have packing and then as we were going over the layout here where these beams are gonna land it turns out we need to put like probably a good two or three more boards additional to those inside packing boards because these metal posts are going to be kind of centered on these brick posts and the, the metal beam going across the mid it's going to be kind of in the middle of these brick posts but this brick post is going to have a nailer board right here for the garage door guys to mount their tracks on so we tap con you know screw into the brick a two by six here here it's going to go all the way up and he needs another nailer right across the top there that should be in line with these ones so and since that beam is going to be more more centered on this there's going to be a few inches here that we need to build out and ultimately it needs to be an inch and a half from this edge so however many boards we need to put in up there it's really just building up material that the guys can screw into so anyway i think that's it got a nice cleanup job today got us restocked on gatorades and some snacks and uh I'll probably be back Monday, but I'm not positive about that. I might have some other things I got to do, and uh, it looks like we got a few more days of waiting for this metal to get done anyway. So this job has really been tough on my schedule, and I've got a lot of other things I need to be doing, and I'm falling behind on my paperwork, but I really wanted to be here overseeing and making sure a lot of these parts go smoothly especially this this part I'm gonna feel a lot better once this beam is in and we get that rafter pattern started because from there it's really everything's pretty simple to put back together I mean we put we do our rafters roof sheathing the roofer is gonna come in finish the roof then as far as framing goes we put ridge ties up top we're probably going to reuse those two by fours as our ridge ties and then a lot of these two by sixes are going to be used for our nailers that's just talking about for the garage door and then a lot of the other what we have left of the two by sixes i believe we are going to be stacking to make a catwalk in this attic space when we're done but I don't know if that's all that necessary there's not going to be much going on up there anyway but uh it is a lot of lumber to just you know we got garages and stuff we could put it in but it's going to make a huge pile somewhere so I'd rather just use it for something but uh yeah, after, so beam goes in, rafters, ridge ties, rafter ties. Then we do an inspection. That's the rough inspection for framing. Then we do, I think electrical gets roughed in. And then he has an inspection. And then we do insulation. And then insulation gets an inspection. And then we drywall. So those are all pretty simple things we do them all the time nothing really special about it but this stuff here this is not your typical job that we're you know that we used we're used to working on at least so anyway it'll be nice to catch up on some other things i got a lot of work to do right now so anyway Thanks for watching and have a good weekend and be back soon. Hopefully this beam goes in soon.